Although not mentioned directly in the specification, in this video we're going to give you an introduction and overview to the software development lifecycle, and then in the rest of the videos in this section we'll dive into the specific areas which are covered in your spec. So software comes in many forms, from simple apps developed for mobile phones to massive corporate rollouts of multinational systems. For initial concept to rollout and beyond, there are distinctive phases collectively known as the software development lifecycle. The first phase is feasibility and problem definition. This is when we work out if a problem is actually feasible and whether we even should be building it in the first place. And if we think we should, then we define the problem fully. Once we know we have a problem we want to solve, we start the process of gathering all the requirements. What should the system do? Once we know what the system should do, we produce detailed analysis and design. This focuses on the how should the system do it, as opposed to the what should it do. Once we know how the system should work, we can move on to implementing and coding the system. Of course this all has to be thoroughly tested to make sure it is error and bug free and as robust as possible. Once we've finished, the system needs to be evaluated. Does it do what we originally required it to do? Is the user happy with the end product? And finally there's the ongoing maintenance of a system which has been rolled out. Future patches, upgrades, ongoing maintenance and support. Now, in modern programming, these development phases don't happen in distinct order as shown here. This is a very out-of-date model. And in the next series of videos, we're going to go through each of these sections and highlight the areas relevant to your spec and talk quite a lot about the agile and iterative method of modern program design and development.